there, welcome to the Teeny Tinkers channel. I make ball jointed doll and craft related content. Today I am going to be doing some kind of editing on a couple sculpts of mine that I'm working on. Um, my primary focus right now is uh, Raven and Edgar. I'm really hoping to have them done by next year, um, but that's going to be a lot of work. So, however, I have them here. So just a quick moment. First of all, they're losing their shoes. So this is not the size they're going to be. Um, when I test my prototypes, I do print them out small first. Um, I usually start my first test print at 15 centimeters. And then um, once I work out the issues at that scale, I bring it up to um, about, this is about 30 centimeters. And then this might be like 28, but anyways, about 30 centimeters, um, work out the issues and then start on MSD and then work out the issues and then keep it there because they're gonna be MSD. So uh, I talked a lot about what I wanted to change in their test stringing video, if you haven't seen that. This is the thumbnail. Um, I'll also link it down below. So we have Ray, uh, sorry, Edgar, who's a boy. Honestly, I'm so in love with his face. Um, I'm gonna talk about the issues as I'm kind of going at them to fix them, but uh, let's just undress him so we can see. But uh, this is Edgar's body. Right the way, you can probably go like, what are those arms? What are those forms? They're so skinny. Uh, why are his biceps so short? Um, why is why are his hips so thick? Uh, there's yes, we know that's what we're doing today. And then this is Raven, his female counterpart. I just pulled off her shoes, but again, super cute. Her face does need some work, but the head back's fine. So again, I'm gonna leave the wig on um, just for fun because it looks cute, I guess. Um, but uh, we can take off her clothes. I'm pretty happy with her. Again, uh, I did mention all the issues in the last video and I'm going to be addressing some of those today. Uh, primarily focusing again on the noodle arms, the fit of both her and Edgar's shoulders into the uh, shoulder, I guess. Uh, and on both of them, the hips need to be brought up to increase their, like improve their mobility. Um, and her chest and ribs are going to be made wider because I want her to be a little more hourglass and a little less pear. I guess without further ado, I'll just open up my iPad. Please excuse the messy desk. Uh, there are pop cans, um, coffee mugs, and an orange. <laughs> just, and like unfinished sweaters. Like there's a lot happening here, okay? All right, so this is the main what they look like. So I guess we'll start with Edgar first. Like I mentioned, I'm pretty happy with his profile. So I'm not gonna be, ooh, I'm not gonna be changing that today. Like, and I really like his face sculpting. Like I am just overall really happy with him. I might actually just one thing, just smooth out his brow and then like smooth his cheekbones. Just a bit, just a little smoother. But really, um, I'm happy with it. Um, there's not really anything else I feel like I need to do. However, we are gonna go into this arm now because I can see that I've placed it higher on here. So that's why we're getting that illusion that it fits properly, but it doesn't. So I'm just gonna pop it here and I can see right away now that that is the issue. Um, and then I'm gonna drop his elbow down a little and then this arm down. I just go into the inflate tool. Just kinda, oops, let's make it bigger. Oh, bigger and less strong. Okay. I'm also going to pull up um, an anatomy reference for male arms just on my computer here. All right, so I can see that we've got kind of like a triangle. I do kind of have that triangly look thing here, but we're gonna do that. And then we're going to, I'm gonna start just drawing the muscles on. So these ones come like this. Okay, so kind of got one here. 
From the front, we have one kind of here. And then from the back, uh, yeah, kind of what I was doing, kind of like one here on the side. There's one kind of here. I don't have to include the elbow and then just maybe a little bit here, a little more. And then I'm gonna smooth that out because the muscle I just did. I wanna mostly lose it. So that's the thing. I'm trying to mostly lose the muscle because he's not a beefcake. Um, he doesn't need to be a beefcake. He's just a sweet, a sweet, sweet man. I'm going to have to re-add the channels in this. I'm gonna do that in Blender after. Um, I find it easier to add channels. Um, in Blender, I don't, I don't know why. I just like to do it there. Uh, you can do them in Nomad, no problem. But yeah, I'm just gonna ah, let's weaken and make this just a kind of. There we go. I'm also happy to like once I print out an MSD version, for example, and I'm working on the master. Um, if I still find the muscles too defined or not defined enough, uh, I can do that post print as well. But all right, so then I'm going to uh, should I do the the forearm first? Sure. Move to the top of the arm first. Um, there's kind of like a muscle here mm -hmm. and then there's another one here I'm already um, just happier with the shape of that yeah I definitely feel like that looks better I do want his arms to stay kind of skinny the elbow is freaking me out a bit let's there we go okay so then for the chest I did notice he was a little lumpy right there. He's happy with his collarbones. I do think I'm going to give him just a little more. There we go. Okay, so um, I did mention I need to kind of pull up his ribs a little bit. So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to turn symmetry on for this one. So I think what I'm going to do actually is try and cut... the pieces and trim them and then soften it and see how that goes uh, lasso okay let's soften those out all right so I'm gonna grab a bigger piece and just all right, the chest is definitely smaller and more angled now. Um, I'm not super loving this shape, uh, but I'll get back there. So I think more like this, and I think with the torso, I'm gonna have to like bring this in and bring this out. I think that makes it smoother. I can refine the fit after. All right, so I can see in the chest, um, he should come out in the armpits a little bit. So like this, um, and then kind of V in, which he does do. See, he's got a round tummy, and I think they're meant to have like V tummies. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that does look better. Let's see, from like this view, I think, see, I think the problem with this is it looks dented in. And um, I don't think boy tummies, like male tummies, that looks better. Why did I make him sucked in? I don't know why I did that. Um, but yeah, I can get like that basic kind of shape I wanted now. And then I needed to trim down the hips down. And I needed to bring the hips up. I'm reducing the package, okay? I... <laughs> it was driving me nuts, so. <laughs> okay, that was not funny. But um, yeah, I didn't like the, uh, the look of it.
Okay. So that's a little less round. So I still think it needs to be sharpened. Maybe coming down like this. It's way better. All right, I'm gonna draw him some muscles. Like the stuff that, like the muscles, whatever. <laughs> and then there's like a crease down the chest. Let's go down the front. Let's, let's click it to the front. There we go. Comes like this. There we go. And then like this. And then like this. And then on the belly. He's looking real jacked and I don't like that. So we're gonna make him weaker in the tummy. I'm just toning down the intensity and I'm just kind of going over and just trying to soften them a little bit. Except for that crease down the middle needs to come back. Where's that? Where'd that go? Cause that's like, the, ooh, that's like the one I do kind of want to keep a little more. And then I'm going to bring the booty cheeks down. Sometimes when I'm sculpting, I'm like, ugh, I really got to zoom in on this guy's like, ugh. This looks so much better already. Like, I'm so much happier with this. All right, tiny, tiny bit of muscle definition, but not a lot because that's his look. He's not a muscly dude. Much happier with the, the front. Um, I'm gonna do his back a little bit now. And this was a new thing for me, but uh, let's just look around. And I see that in my reference, thank you reference, um, boys have, or he should have like, oh no, okay. He should have like a muscle here, like right along the, his back there. Um, another one coming this way. All right, honestly, I'm really happy with that. Um, and the back of the neck should not dent in so much. That was not it. This is just the start. Um, I'm gonna be making more changes, but I'm already so much happier with that. Uh, he has muscles, not muscles, but like muscles now. Uh, okay, I guess we can move on to Raven. The first thing I wanted to change was her profile a little bit. So I'm going to turn her to the side. Now, it's not bad, but it's a little, it's not as like swoopy as I would like. Literally, I think this is gonna be like the easiest of the fixes. And I wanted to fill out her cheeks a little more. Right, and then I'm just going to kind of smooth that. Define her nose a little more. Um, I'm going to just smooth out under her nose. Um, so the lips are still slightly bumpy, but the thing is, because my iPad is not very powerful, um, what I actually need to do is once I'm finished, I need to export it into Blender or something. Because um, once it's in Blender, I can increase the polygons and make it smoother. But I can't do that yet. I like sculpt on not super, super high resolution. But I do want the chest to be wider. So let me just make sure we've got symmetry on. We do. And because we're, we're about to... Uh, to get a little crazy up in here. Um, I'm going to pull her, well, I need a bigger radius first, but pull her shoulders out. It's a little more hourglassy now, I would say. See, now her shoulders, see the corner of her shoulder is almost falling right over the corner of her hip. Uh, Cause that's the next big thing. First of all, um, the ribs, need to be softened out just a bit. They were they were a little much, not too bad, but I did think that they were a little harsh and um, that's not my vibe, but I want her to have like some rib definition. I'm pretty happy with her shape from the front now. Um, I might make her ribs just a little wider. 
Okay, um, I do need to move her arms so I can tell where they actually go now. Okay. And then um, the arm just needed to be ah, not that big. salon for her too and then smooth it out right in the front too and then, yeah that's a nicer arm shape I think That looks better and then we can just move the wrist and stuff again that needs a bar obviously don't look at that too hard okay all right I'm gonna save that so it doesn't disappear on me okay um like I said I'm really happy with the breast shape I think I will give her a slightly thicker collarbones because these are really um, I'm going to just go ahead and do that um, and then I think she also needs a uh, tummy again pretty happy with her tummy the issue here was that she can't like if I take her model like if I take the model um, her leg doesn't come up because her hips hitting it it comes to about here which actually isn't bad but see when she sits she's sitting on I don't mind if she's sitting on the first ball because it's like a continuation but she sits a bit on the second ball and I th yeah I think just moving her hips up a little bit that makes me nervous because I really love the shape of them but I can always undo it if I don't like it so we're gonna just bring them up Gotta fix her hip bone now because it's looking wild. But I should just be able to bring it up. Because then, hypothetically, her leg should come up higher. That might even be enough. Like, I don't want to do, like I said, too much because. I think that's gonna be it um something about the ribs is, like the way the tummy is coming into the ribs bugs me is that the tummy gets too narrow i think the tummy needs to be wider here we go that looks better um, i'm gonna give her I liked the effect of, like, I liked messing with Edgar's tummy there, um, doing the right down the middle. Okay. It's like, I put it in intensely and then just muddle it out and it's like, that'll do. Right here. I think this is sticking out too far. All right, I was really happy with the butt already, so I'm not gonna mess with that. All right, and then I was pretty happy with that. Um, shoulder blades. Um, I actually am pretty happy with these. Um, again, there's that curve, that like, not curve, that line up the back that I missed. Flatten here. enough for today um i hope this kind of video was interesting to you or helpful in some way uh, i am by no means a master sculptor but um i don't know i, th 
I'm getting better and better and I'm having a lot of fun with it. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Did you like the improvements? Um, do you like these kinds of videos? Would you want to see more of these kinds of videos? Uh, if you're already subscribed to my channel, thanks so much for subscribing. If you're new here, I hope you like the content and will consider subscribing. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye! Thank you.